Thank God it is finally Friday. It's time to get lit. Let's go. So today I want to talk about the fact that the weekend is the hardest time to stay on our goals when it comes to fitness and nutrition. And why is that? Because on the weekends, a lot of our actions are determined by the people we surround ourselves with and and the situations that we're put in. When you go to brunch and you are with your friends and they all want to drink mimosas, you're going to drink mimosas. It's just going to happen. <laughs> you're probably going to get some unhealthy food sometime in the weekend cuz you're going to be drinking and you're going to be like, "You know what? I'm going to have the pizza." <laughs> And let me just first say that that's not always a bad thing, okay? But if it is holding you back from getting to your goals, then it sounds like it's a bad thing. So, here's a couple strategies that I use when I do go out on the weekends or when I used to go out on the weekends to kind of deter myself from making bad decisions, all right? So, number one, let's talk about drinking first. Drinking is really difficult because Alcohol has calories. It actually has 7 calories per gram. So this is more than than a gram of carbohydrates or a gram of protein even. So that's a lot of calories. And when we start to consume more and more alcohol, we're getting more and more calories. And here's the crazy thing. We generally consume alcohol with high sugar drinks like margarita mix or soda or we use chaser. So these are all things that are going to add to the amount of calories that we're getting. So one strategy that you can use is if you're ballsy, you can take shots. And I'm talking straight shots, no chaser, or you can find a low calorie mix to use. If you use a, something like sparkling water that has no calories, those are fantastic. The bubbles really help kind of deter the taste of alcohol, but at the same time you're not getting the additional calories and the extra sugar. And you kind of just have to accept the fact that alcohol is going to have calories. Now, here's the other thing about alcohol. Alcohol deters your body from recovering from exercise as quickly as possible. They say about 24% of your muscle synthesis decrease. I don't want to stick to that number, but that just gives you a general idea of how much it affects your body. So even if you're drinking just a little bit of alcohol, you may feel sore the next day. And this could be one from lactic acid buildup from your body trying to rid yourself of alcohol. But it could also be because your muscles just don't get to repair themselves. So just keep that in mind when you're really trying to get to a goal, especially if your goal is to gain muscle. This makes it really, really difficult. You're going to be working twice as hard for twice as long to get the same amount of muscle that you would if you weren't drinking alcohol. Now, I don't want to say don't drink alcohol because drinking and being social is a part of life. And if we're too stressed about our nutrition and fitness goals, then we're not going to reach them anyway because stress and cortisol release is just as bad as alcohol. So, just make smart decisions. Now, when we're eating on the weekends, this is a whole nother realm, you know. Don't be afraid to be the friend who steps out of their comfort zone and says, guys, like, I don't want to get pizza. Like, can we at least go somewhere where, where they have an option for me? Don't be afraid to be that person because your friends, if they are your, really your friends, then they're going to understand. They're going to know that, hey, it's really important for my friend to, to be fit, to be healthy. It's really, really important to them. So I'm willing to make a sacrifice for them because people innately they want to give they want to they want to help each other out Don't let them peer pressure you stand up for yourself and stand up for your values and your goals It's it's not a bad thing to be outspoken and tell people like hey like we need to compromise here That's just a part of living and a part of friendship and setting boundaries so let them know, hey guys, yeah, okay, we can get pizza, but let's go to a place that is going to at least have a pizza option that is a little bit healthier. Or maybe if we're going to a place to get burgers, make sure they have maybe like a salad with chicken on it or some other kind of option. 
a lettuce wrap instead of like the bun, you know, maybe a grass fed burger, something where you can stay on your goals because it's, as I said, it's not bad to stand up for yourself. And those are, those are possibilities. They're out there. Use the restaurant to your advantage. Restaurants will allow you to adjust a meal however you want. Ask for dressing on the side. Replace this with that. Replace a side of fries with a side of vegetables. They would love to do that because they want to make the customer happy. So don't be afraid to ask the waiter, the waitress, how can I adjust this? How can I change this? Is this okay? Like, let's do this instead of this because I have goals and I want to achieve them. Now, these are just a couple of tips on the weekend. The weekends can be super, super difficult, but they're crucial because the weekend is two out of seven days. If you are only working towards your goal on five days, you have two, it's five steps forward, two steps back. You have three steps, three steps forward a week. Now, wouldn't you rather have at least five, maybe seven days working towards your goals? You're going to get to your goals faster. Your results are going to be better. You're going to be more efficient. And you're going to accomplish more just doing that. So that's just some considerations for the week. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead, subscribe below so you can get access to my videos as soon as they come out. You don't have to worry about missing another one so that you can get all your tips in, you can get to your goals the fastest. I'm here to help you. Feel free to DM me on Instagram or on YouTube or leave a comment, whatever. If you have any questions for me, let's get you there. Have a good day.